Hello, I am Melissa Roberge, the senior attorney assigned to advise Metro Nashville Public Schools. I've been asked to give a brief overview of the maintenance of effort statutes related to the funding of schools. School funding comes from three main sources, federal funds, state funds, and local funds. Maintenance of effort is only concerned with the local funds that a school district receives. Maintenance of effort is an education financing requirement that counties maintain a level of funding year to year for the local school district. It is governed by two Tennessee statutes. The first, TCA 49.2.203, sets forth the duties of a local board of education. This includes the requirement that the board submit a budget to the appropriate local legislative body, here the Metro Council. The statute requires that the budget for the school system not supplant state funds for local funds. In other words, the budget cannot use state money to make up for any funding gaps in local operating funds. Local operating funds do not include capital expenditures or debt service. TCA 49.3.314 again states that LEAs cannot use state funds to supplant local current operating funds. This is also where the enforcement mechanism is found. If a school system's budget does not meet the Tennessee Department of Education's maintenance of effort test, then the Department of Education can withhold state funding until it is in compliance. What is the Department of Education's test? It is a budget-to-budget -budget test. Budgeted local revenue must be equal to or greater than the previous year's budgeted amount. The Department of Education is evaluating the budget submitted and not the actual revenues collected. The first test that the Department of Education does is compare bottom number to bottom number. It does not matter what revenue source is used to get to the bottom line. So long as the number for this year is equal to or greater than the previous year, the test is met. That then sets the new baseline and the requirements for subsequent years. If cur current year funding is lower than the previous year, the department will then determine if the district's annual daily membership or enrollment has changed. If enrollment has decreased, the total amount of funding may decrease as long as the per pupil funding remains the same. To use an example, assume a district had 50,000 students in fiscal year 21 and the local funding was 50 million, 500 million. In fiscal year 22, local funding was 450 million for the district and the enrollment had decreased to 40,000 students. The district would fail the first test because $450 million is less than $500 million. It would, however, pass the second test. In fiscal year 21, the per pupil amount was $10,000. In fiscal year 22, the per pupil amount is $11,250. Maintenance of effort requirements are met and that number will set the new baseline. If the current year funding is lower and it is less than the prior per pupil amount, maintenance of effort requirements are not met and the department may withhold BEP or state funds until an appropriate budget is submitted. There are only four exceptions to the maintenance of effort requirements. The first discussed above is if the school system has a reduction in student population then total funding may be calculated on a per pupil level. Second, if there is a reduction in state funding then local funds used to offset these funding reductions are not subject to the maintenance of local funding requirement. Third, this restriction does not apply for three years after a city and county system have consolidated into one. Fourth, if in any fiscal year the governing body and the school board enter into a written agreement establishing the non-recurring nature of an appropriation, the appropriation may be, then be excluded from maintenance of effort and from any applicable apportionment requirements. In sum, maintenance of effort is a requirement that local governments keep funding consistent for schools year over year.